Hi guys, welcome to uh, another video from Advanced in Car. Um, right, so a bit of a tricky one to film this one. So this is um, a 2023 Golf 8 um, that's come in for some added security. Um, and so what we've done is fitted a Ghost Immobilizer. Now, if you've ever looked into the Ghost Immobilizer at all, you'll know that it works on um, a can blocking basis so that you have to enter a specified code that's set up with it. So that when you uh, go to start the car, you have to enter that code the CAN system will recognize it and they go, yep, that's fine, you can now drive your car. Um, so that if that code isn't put in, depending on how the car wants to work and things, it'll either stop you putting it into um, sort of, you know, drive or gear or anything like that, or it will just stall the engine completely. Um, now, when doing these sorts of videos is tricky with security stuff because a we can't obviously show you where it's fitted uh we can't show you how it's wired up and things um but we can give you a good kind of demonstration of what to expect when you're uh starting your vehicle and you've entered your code correctly and also um, what happens with a failed start i.e you've started the car and not put your code in um, how it then reacts um, because we get a lot of questions about how these ghosts work and things just because people are going to go well what, what is it going to do how is the car going to react so this is just a good demonstration that on a golf 8 for instance um, that when the code isn't put in um, and you're trying to start it without that the car will start up in momentarily and then the engine will die um, so then obviously the car is nice and secure and can't be driven away so uh, so let's do that so what we'll do is I'll start off with just uh, chucking the ignition on and then I'll enter our code that we've set on this car and um, we'll get our indication to say that it's accepted the code which in this instance is the two little uh, indicating uh, indicators are flashing. They only flash on the inside of the car. Obviously you don't have your indicators flashing on the outside of the car because that would be a bit bizarre. But at least it shows that you know, you, you're know you getting that indication to say yes the code's been accepted and you can start the car. So let's do that. We're going to pop the ignition on. Everything lights up. Obviously different cars work at different rates. We're going to enter in our code that we've done. we'll get our two indications to say we can start the car and I can now start the car and we're free to go into drive anything we want everything is going to work and do its job no issues so now what we'll do is I'll turn the car off we'll let the car rearm I've just opened the door purely because it allows the uh, can system to get a final signal to close down and um, know it's you know rearming the car basically we'll give it a good kind of 15 20 seconds maybe to arm um, and then we'll do a little failed start so in this instance like i said earlier i will just start the car as normal without a code uh, the engine will start and then it will just die straight away uh, then there'll be various warnings that come up on the dash i'll have to re-enter our code and then I'll be able to go through the process of uh, starting the car and so I can use it. Otherwise, if you were trying to steal the car and you were just trying to start the car continuously, it's not going to start. Right, let's, uh, let's give that a go. Let's see if we've given it enough time, shall we? Right. And there we go. Engine just died. We're getting various errors up on the dash. So now what we can do is we can cycle through, put our code in here we go we can turn it off turn it back on and start it and the car then starts and we're good to go and that's it all just running and working um, so i'm just going to close the windows because the uh, engine's quite noisy so that's a that's a kind of a basic showing you of how the ghost works putting in your code so that the code has been accepted and you can then start the car. Obviously, depending on the car um, and uh, what's available in the car, you can have various different buttons, different 
button presses and things um, so that you can have as kind of a secretive code as possible if you like. Um, the only thing we kind of suggest to people is keeping it nice and short and simple so that you don't forget it but also so you're not sitting there pressing buttons around your car so that you know if you've got a passenger they're not looking at you going well, what are you doing why are you pressing all of that you know you can just keep it nice and simple somewhere tucked away whilst you're putting your seatbelt on you can be just doing it no one knows you've done anything and your car stays nice and secure uh, without it being obvious and that's you know hence the whole name ghost it's hidden away it's doing its job and your car's protected now obviously another feature of the ghost is so that you don't have to tell people your code so if you were you know valet parking or taking your car for a simple service you don't want to have to be telling everyone what your code is and then having to change it afterwards um, so the ghost has what's called a service mode now service work mode works on a different um, button to your code button and what that enables you to do is um, put it into a mode where the immobilizer is disabled and the car can be started up and driven you know maneuvered if you like multiple yeah you know, almost i think an infinite number of times actually you can just start it up turn it off start it up turn it off no codes needed no one needs to know that you're uh, you have an immobilizer in your car until the car gets driven for 35 miles an hour or more for 15 minutes um, then it will be reinstated automatically or you put your code back in and turn off service mode. Um, so then it means that if you take your car to valet parking or servicing or anything and you've put your car into service mode, if you then get a phone call saying, oh, we can't start your car, someone's been driving your car when, they, when you've you know, not expected them to or something like that. So what I'll do is I'll now put this into service mode obviously you can only do it when the engine is running which means you've already put in your set preset code uh, otherwise it'd be kind of pointless so we'll put it into service mode now and what we'll get is we'll get five indication flashes on the dash from our same indicating lights so we'll go one two three four five and then we've got five flashes there we go, all sorted. So that now means the car is in service mode. So if we were to turn the car off now, let it all shut down, we can then just start the car back up, no code needed, and you know, if we needed to, we could maneuver it around, do what we need to do. And you know, even if someone has previously had a, a ghost fitted, they bring it to us, they can put it into service mode, and we're none the wiser. We don't need to know about it. We can maneuver the car in, do our work we need to do, move it out, everyone's happy cars nice and safe and secure because unfortunately all these nice posh cars are, are becoming you know quite tasty to those who don't want to pay for them and um, so we're getting a lot of cars that are being stolen and things so it's good to try and have everything you can to protect your pride and joy and uh, keep it nice and safe but without shouting about it because um, that's obviously you know that can that can make people kind of go oh i know how to get around that but if it's all tucked away and hidden then that's a good thing so let's just turn it off quickly We'll open the door, give it a few seconds to reset itself, and then I'll start it up, and that will show you that it's all back in service, it's in service mode, and uh, we don't have to use the code. So if I just do that now. There we go, car's started up, it's good to go, service mode is in, and if I was working on this car, didn't know it had a ghost, I'd be more than happy maneuver around do what i need to do and everything's nice and safe um, so then yeah well obviously when we fit a ghost we'll talk you through how to change codes and things if you want to learn that um, but the thing to remember with these things is it is a whole new way of starting your car you have to learn that you're now going to be starting your car in a certain sequence uh, to make sure it is, it's protected. Otherwise, you won't be able to drive your car. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's kind of it, really. That's a Ghost fitted into uh, a very nice 2023 Golf R. It's all nice and protected now. It's going to be safe. And uh, our customer can go away happy that uh, his car is going to be safe and uh, not going to be taken by anyone else. So thanks for watching. If you want to get in contact at any point, um, just give us a shout. We can talk you through the options you can go for and uh, we'll see you again soon.